Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. wondering what this place was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this Place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, I just checked in on Dan and Annie. They're both doing great. Here, follow me. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. You see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what the target will be. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. 
I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Precisely the issue. The accelerator is going to need a full recalibration. Who's going to tell Nico? Not me. I like my job. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. So much to see here. Where do I even start? Did you see the monthly schedule update? I did, and I was very disappointed. Hey, really? what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Meteors and meteorites. I think we should invoke his PhD. This is a reminder that next week is our softball team's first game. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! May would have loved this place. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Let's start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? <sighs> Gotta think this through before signing on. <gasps> on your left! 
Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes. That was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. And you see, if you let B be the base of the member system and end the degree of the root to be extracted... Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm-hmm. This way, dude. We're good to go. Mm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course.
Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. <clears throat> Go ahead. Swipe. We need more security. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. Ah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. What have we got here? Welcome to the real-world trial for our ultra-efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin, passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real-world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. Your badge will grant you access. Glad these scientists can still work from home after the Foundation was destroyed. No need to make headlines.
This is a job for plain old Pete. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Get in at the checkpoint. No. <laughs> Ooh, concert happening today. energy. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Awesome! You got a little air on that one. Harry and I used to go to concerts out here every summer. Maybe we can bring that tradition back. Check. That's not right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. blow up on me, but this would be my first bicycle. Gotta hurry. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. The bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. The battery will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. Let's see what Dr. Young is up to out here. Fear, thank you so much for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great. Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasp. Bee wolves, bee gone. Who knew rats ate bees? the data set. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be real estate. Here we go. 
look for the flax. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. Estate agent. A B estate agent. Bingo. the set. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helps Peter out. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Let's scan these vines. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. Can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yeah, I just gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Hmm, pipe's blocked by that car. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? This should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on.
see what's the latest greatest in energy research. These wind turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the web wings. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Port and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. This is really high. Fly free, little turbine. How can such tiny turbines create so much energy? been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. Gotta get up there. Talon drones attacking the turbine. I've gotta stop them. You guys again? I really wish we'd stop meeting like this. Stay out of our way, and we won't have to. Okay, that's all of them. Now to get this turbine back in place. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. That's a lot of nesting boxes. Good beelet. We're training the drones to identify predators like rats and beetles so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Be bodyguards, Queen Edition. Giving new meaning to Queen Bee. Bees, but not to be confused with queen bees. Ooh, that's a big guy. Rat attack, rat. Unidentified predator detected. Uh oh, what's that? Better go check that out. Whoa, that bird. It's going after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha. Neuropathy albicollis, the white-throated bee-eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoot this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real-world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. Perfect. This is enough to annoy the bird, but not hurt it. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey, bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! Giving you a little push. Mush! Mush, birdie! Keep it moving, buddy. 
This is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. training session. You know the drill. Help the drone identify predators as well as optimal nesting sites. Just gotta boot up the drone. Let's do some target practice. Gotcha. Another one down. Nice to be flying around Brooklyn. Let's mark those nest sites. Got the bug? Yeah, let's get it back in the garage. Did someone steal the drone? And figure out where it went. Uh, no sign of it. Or anyone. Those guys said something about a garage. There's a few close by. If I can find the right one, I should be able to reconnect to the drone from the roof. Better start checking out these garages. No connection. It must not be this one. Signal. This can't be the place. Telling you it's fine. Just a little stunned. It's not really moving. Bingo. This is the place. Let's connect the video signal. What is this place? And more importantly, how do I get in there? Lots of cages in here. More bees. I don't know why these guys are collecting bees. I know they don't belong cooped up in here. I'd better turn on that sonic laser mode. Let's kill two bees with one shot. I free them, and they'll help me get that door open. Contestants on. Look to the face. Spider Man. Yeah. Safety mode. Fly home. All right, guys, you gotta tell me. Knees? What? Never heard of knees, Market? Yeah, but this is like niche, niche. We're not taking notes from a guy dressed like a spider. A belated arrival. Get him! Fellas, there has to be an easier way to make money. I don't even care about the bees. You know how many 
plants exist because of these? They play a critical role in... Oh, you don't care. Not that much. Whew, that's all of them. I'll definitely let Dr. Young know about this poaching operation. It's no good for the bees. Real or drone. Peter, I'm so glad you could help. Clearly we've got a failure to thrive, and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Hmm. Identify this molecule. Let's see. Science, I love you. Huh. Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen, just like these fish. Now, I just need to get a cooperative sample. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a fin. This one won't work. Gotta catch another. A perfect specimen. That's one slippery sample secured. Now to take it back and splice it with the plants. All right, my leafy greens. Let's get you feeling better. I need to insert this fish gene. splice this fish gene into your plant genes, I can give you guys immunity to this pathogen just like them. Let's see. Okay, Feast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. You'll be feeling better in no time. Help out EMF. Here's the kiosk. Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Better head to ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. And I'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. 
Oh, no. No. Someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path it took. Now let's see where these pilfering plantsmen went. Security. I've got something to plant. My fist in your face. Got a gift for you, Spidey. I need this plant for an experiment to help feed New York. If that means anything to you. No, really. Uh, now we need to fight that suit, too. What kind of plant is this? I think it's called the back to jail plant. Suit doesn't matter. Give me a pin. that plant. You couldn't have walked far. All right, buddy. One quick stop at feast, and then we'll get you back home. Glad we nipped this nefarious plant in the bud. See what I did there? Yeah, I knew you would. Wait, your name's not Audrey, is it? Parker, stop talking to the plant. bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. There he is! Huh? Oh no, you're not touching that! Oh, that plant must be really special to you! <laughs> You can't spot him. So smart. Did I see that? We just followed him. Whew. Let's try that again. Let's see. How do these fit together? This should create a cassava that grows more quickly without sacrificing the yield. This is some cutting edge splicing tech they've developed. Makes it possible to meet food supply challenges without sacrificing safety and transparency. And there we go. The plant will be secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. Feast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. Just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. 
It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Break time's over. this? Lance and a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I know Norman, I think. for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these, and I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, we might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? something for you. We're in good health. Love you. 